Hey you guys, it's Yuri. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day out there. Um, I actually in this video wanted to cover five different things that people keep telling themselves or you know keep telling other people that's actually stopping them from you know growing or expanding into the best self that they can be. So a lot of people you know come to me because they have a certain situation that they want advice on or that they just want to better themselves. And um, you know sometimes I so they tell me you know what's going on and. Um, you know, I will say, okay, now can I give you a coaching moment or, you know, can I offer advice with love? And they say yes. And I give them the advice that, you know, that I observe, that I notice as a coach. And um, the first thing that they say, so this is number one, is, but I've always been that way. Or this is just who I am. And um, this thought pattern, and I think it's, um, it's natural. I think it's your ego trying to protect yourself because that's, who you are right now, your identity, your ego is trying to protect your identity as you are right now. So it quickly goes to defensive mode being like, but this is who I am. Don't try to change me. Yet, you know, we're having this conversation because there's a part of you that wants to change, that wants to become better and that wants to expand. Um, yet when you resort to that like thought process so quickly, but this is who I am, um, just become aware of that because I think once you become aware of it, you'll realize, oh, wow, I'm holding on to this identity so much. And um, being able to let that identity go is the first place into stepping into that space of, you know, being able to grow and expand into the best version, the better version of yourself that you're trying to become. Um, number two is, but everyone does this or everyone thinks this way. Everyone thinks that's crazy. Everyone knows that's not realistic. Who is everyone here, right? So everyone here might be, um, well, first of all, I doubt that everyone is everyone because I doubt that you've spoken to all 7 billion people in this world. Typically what happens is you have certain little social groups that you're a part of. And when you say everyone, you're thinking of those people. Um, well, they wouldn't think you know, that's possible. They wouldn't think that's you know normal. But the truth is, there's so many different kinds of people out there. And um, for you to generalize everyone that way is really dangerous because it could actually be limiting yourself from actual the growth that you're seeking or um, you know different version of yourself you're trying to become. Um, and number three is similar to number two, but this happens typically more internally. Speaking of that same social group, right? Is what would they think? And um, I think this happens to everybody at one point, especially if you're building a business for the first time or you're just doing something different for the first time, you're targeting a different uh, niche or you're doing a different marketing campaign or you're doing something different on your sales call, whatever it might be, um, the first thing that you might think is, what would they think? Who's they? Again, you know, who's they? And why does it matter what they think? If you really truly believe in your heart and you know intuitively that's going to be a good thing for you, your business, or your you know connections, your relationship, whatever. It doesn't matter what they think. You know, being your authentic self could mean that you're doing something that no one ever has done before. You know, if Steve Jobs stopped creating iPhones because he was like, well, what would they think? You know, we might not be having um, this interaction right now. So, what? Um, just let go of that. What would they think? That's you know really stopping yourself from growing and expanding into something that is beautiful. Number four is, I wish this didn't happen to me, or this didn't happen to me. Um, I wish if this would have happened to me before, then I would be this successful now. Well, you know, whatever happened in the past, you can't change, we all know that. But more so, when I go through hardships now, I see that as a gift from the universe. It's an opportunity for me to have a unique experience or unique lesson, um, unique knowledge, you know, personal experience knowledge is so powerful, um, unique insight that becomes actually not only um, an opportunity, but it could actually become your competitive advantage as a person, as a business. So when um, you're looking, you look at anyone who's successful, they most likely have had 
not one, not two, but many, many, many hardships. And they typically are the ones who didn't stop there and or who didn't blame that as an excuse to not move forward, but really took that as an opportunity to spring forward even further and um, become the successful people that they are, like Oprah, Tony Robbins, some of those people I look up to. Number five, I think this is one of the most important things that you have to watch out for is I'll be happy when this happens. So, you know, whether it's like, I'll be happy when I'm with that person. I'll be happy when I make, you know, $20,000, $200,000 a month, whatever it is, you know, whatever your moving target is, happiness happens now. And your goals can, you know, be achieved anytime, but happiness happens now. And if you're attaching your happiness for anything that's conditional, you know, anything that could be taken away or anything that has to be like a milestone, know that it doesn't have to be that way. You can find happiness now. You can find joy right now by becoming aware of all the things that you already have and becoming truly, truly, deeply grateful for where you are, all the people in your life, all the experiences you've had, all the things that you, you know, own, have, um, just the fact that you're alive. Um... In fact, today I um, was sent this news article how, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but there was an airplane that actually crashed into, so it was a small airplane by John Wayne that crashed into a parking lot. And it crushed instantly five people, killing them on the spot. Those five people, they might have been, you know, healthy. They might have been successful. They might have been, you know, having the best year of their lives or having the best year or whatever. But they didn't wake up thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to get crushed by a plane. Today's my last day. And, you know, I know that sounds depressing. I know that sounds morbid, but it's the real, it's the truth. Everyone has an expiration date and we just don't know when that is. So if we're waiting um, for, you know, a promotion, we're waiting for our business to hit a certain milestone, we're waiting for, you know, something else to happen so that we become happy. Guess what? The truth is we may never get there and we we may never know what that feels like. So let's drop into our present moment now. Create that happiness now so that you can grow from that place of happiness and joy and expand. And really, expansion of yourself can only happen in that state. Only happen when you already are flowing with love and joy and happiness, um, you know, from, from within you. So... Anyways, just something I wanted to quickly share. So really to recap, five things that you shouldn't say to yourself. Number one, I've always been that way or this is just who I am. Number two, everyone knows that's not realistic or everyone knows that's not normal. Number three, what would they think? Number four, I wish blank didn't happen to me. And number five, I'll be happy when quote unquote happens. So. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think. If you have any questions or comments, please, please, please let me know. I'd be um, super excited and curious to see, you know, what you guys think about this. Thank you. Have a beautiful evening.